here we have the latest and greatest Ender loops. These are triple A's and these are double A's. Uh, they upgraded. They upgraded from 750 milliamps to 800 milliamps minimum, and this one 1900 to 2000 milliamps minimum. So that's a nice increase. So let's see what's on the back. This is only for Europe, for now at least. Um, June, I think 16th or 17th, they will officially launch. So this is a sneak peek. New packaging, paper, doesn't look so good as you can see over here, it has some damage. So yeah. It is what it is. Let's open it up. Maybe I can take this out, but no. So these are the, the BK4MCDE. So already next test is about the weight. I'm going to check the weight. This is a first generation Sanyo Enelup. This is a third generation Sanyo Enelup. This is the fourth generation uh, Panasonic Enelup. So this is like the first generation to say from Panasonic. Uh, this is an Amazon uh, Panasonic Enelup only available in Japan. Uh, this is basically the same as a fourth generation. And this is the new fifth generation. So let's take a look at the weight. Let's start with the first generation. About 26. Let's do it two times. 26. Third generation. These have been used for uh, a bit, so you're not brand spanking new. 25.8. Twenty-six point two, twenty-six point three. Amazon Panasonic Analog, twenty-six point two, twenty-six point one, and then the new fifth generation, twenty-seven point one. So it's heavier. Twenty-seven point two. Next is comparing the weight from the triple A's. This is a third generation from Japan limited edition. This is a fourth generation uh, from Japan. This is a normal standard edition with Panasonic text. This is a special uh, one uh, made for Amazon, Amazon Japan, uh, Panasonic Analoop. This is a fourth generation you can buy in Europe. And this is a fifth generation, the new one with 800 milliamps. So let's take a look how heavy they are. Third generation, 11 11.7, 11.7, 11.6, fourth generation, 11.6. This one is new, these are used. This one is unused, I think, or. 11.8, 11.9, 11.8, 11.9, 11.8, 11.9, 11.9, 11.9, 11.9, 11.9, 11.9, 11.9, 11.9, 11.9, 11.9, 11.9, 11.9, 11.9, 11.9, 11.9, 
eight. Eleven point nine, fourth generation bought in Europe. Eleven point nine. This is the new fifth generation. Twelve point four. Twelve point four. So it seems to be that both the double A and the triple A's are heavier than newer ones. So that's kind of an interesting uh, thing to notice. All right, so here we are charging two brand new batteries. I mean, unused batteries. This is a couple of years old, uh, but it never been used and fresh from the package. I'm going to charge them both at a one amp. Um, and after that I will do a discharge test for both. So we just charged them. Um, they went up to like 1.5 or 1.5 something volts. Now we're going to discharge them. I set them to... This is the setting. So NIM Capacity 2100. I know it's slower, but I just wanted to make sure it doesn't cut off at the end. I will discharge with uh, a charge rate of 1 amp. And cut voltage is 0.9 volts. And that's basically it. Oh, oops. So this one should be number 16 as well. So discharge both of them and let's see how much capacity they have all right um, so these are discharged at one amp discharge current and this one, and a cutoff at 0 0.9 volts. Of course, uh, it's not the maximum milliamp hours, but I just wanted to see that the fifth generation was performing better. So yes, it does perform quite a bit better. Um, I also know like one amp discharge current isn't the best uh, way to uh, check maximum capacity. But at least it's a good indication. Okay, so I just charged the fifth generation, the new one. And this is a fourth generation. This was one of the newest batteries I have. And I'm going to test them. I set them to um, discharge current of 400 milliamps. It's about like 0.5C. And the cutoff voltage is 0 0.9 volts. And let's see what the capacity is. And um, Let's go from there. Okay, so they're done. Uh, these two charged. 2100, 2000. Not so important, charging of course. And these are discharged. So 793 and 766. This is with 0.5C, so 400 milliamp discharge current. 